Hey, it's Alex here with Kiss FM's Next Up. Okay, I'm very excited for our next artist. Um, he has a lot going on right now. This is J.D. McCrary. How are you? Welcome to Kiss FM. I'm good. Thank you for having me. Of course. So did you? where did you grow up? I want to get to know you a little bit. Okay, I grew up in California okay. in the Valley, Renata Hills. So right here. So did yes. you grow up listening to Kiss FM? Yes, I actually did. That's awesome. To the radio, Michael Jackson, all those people. I love it. So now you're here. This is very exciting. I'm very happy to have you. Thank you for having me. Of course. So you've been busy, like to say the least. (laughs) I feel like it's wild. Like we were just talking off camera about how your first interview was Steve Harvey. And that's like really wild because that's a big platform. Like that's a big interview. Like You didn't get any warm ups before Steve Harvey. What was that like? (laughs) Uh, that that was just a really awesome experience. Steve Harvey is a great guy, and I'm just glad that I got to go on there. So what has all this been like for you? Because I feel like, did you feel like it was just kind of came out of nowhere, and all of a sudden you're in the spotlight, and it's very overwhelming? Or has this been like a longer road for you? It has been. I, I have... I feel like it has been a, a pretty long road. Like, I started when I was about six or something. I'm That's almost young. A, yeah, I'm almost 11 now. Okay, so, you know, a few years. Yeah, a few <laughs> years. I have a little preparation. Yeah. So I didn't just come in at Steve Harvey. I don't think that's how it works. No. <laughs> um. Well, I started on the Disney Channel. Um. Okay. I started doing all that stuff. And then it eventually went to, uh, like, TV shows because I'm going to be on Dr. Dre's Vital Signs. I saw that. I did that up. A minute ago, yeah. and it's 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 still in production. I I'm guessing that it's gonna be like pitch pitch perfect. Yeah. And then I eventually um went on to the Tyler Perry's um the Pain Show. Yes, yeah. I saw that. I'm a regular. It's, it's ha- that's awesome. So like I said, you got so much going on, and I think it's like what else is really cool is you're going to be, and I think what is probably the most talked about di- upcoming Disney movie, mm-hmm. the live action. Lion King, which that cast in general is just was like, I remember when that came out and I was like sitting in my gym and I saw like the official like cast set and I went, oh my gosh. And I just like turned to random strangers. I was like, did you see this? Like they got everybody. (laughs) What was that like to be with like Donald Glover and Beyonce and John Oliver? Like that's great. That's so exciting. Yeah, that's that's actually really exciting for me because, you know, I those people have been in the business for I don't know how many years Mm -hmm. and I'm just a little kid in this. (laughs) And that that was just like a really I'm not just I'm not just saying like it's a past thing like this is still happening. It's really awesome. It's overwhelming. Yeah. So where were you when you found out you were going to be young Simba? Um, I was actually in Atlanta shooting the the paints. What was your reaction to that? I was like, oh my gosh, I got the call back. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Tyler Perry said that we can go back to our hometowns for a few weeks. I went back to L.A. and then I met up with everybody from Disney and then I started recording. That's incredible. So are you still in the process of like recording? Like, Because it's obviously like you're not physically going to be in the movie. It's your voice. So what is that like? Is that is that different? It, it, it's a little different because I have been a little used to doing like in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, doing that, that right now, um, and it it's just it's really cool and it's also a big relief because you don't have to do any facial expressions. Yeah. Um, you just have to talk. Basically. Rely on this, which you like. Yes. You know, you're obviously you're good at acting too, but you're like, okay. man, I got my voice, and that's like at least I don't have to have the camera on me. That's like one less thing you have to worry about. Yeah. I, I feel like it's it's easy and hard at the same time. Well, not hard, but it's so give me an example. Different. What what makes it di- like difficult? Like what or what has been um, the weirdest thing for you to get used to? Well, the weirdest thing for me to get used to is I'm not gonna say a lot of lines, but I had to learn like 53 pages because I'm in half the movie. Yeah, but um, you got a big role. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like the weirdest thing is not being on camera because I've never done animation or yeah. stuff like this before. And it's it's actually like different but mm-hmm. cool at the same time. I really like Is it. It's something where you're like, I could I could get used to this. Yeah. I would like to do more of something this. Like that. That's awesome. So on top of doing that, and obviously so in case our listeners live under a rock and don't know, you play young Simba, but Donald Glover plays like the adult Simba, which yes. is such a cool cast. I love that casting so much. Um and then on top of that, 
to get, I guess, get you even more familiar with the world, you were on the gra- on stage at the Grammys with him. Like, how did that even come about? That was so cool. <laughs> well, um, I think in my emails, some somebody from the Grammys maybe sent me, like, do you want to go to the Grammys? And how, how do you turn something you down? You can't like that? turn that down. <laughs> and then I went to the Grammys. We started uh, rehearsing, doing our things. And I was actually a surprise to be up there. Um, nobody really knew, except for this one guy that was sitting right there where I was hiding. He knew everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. And um, uh, I went on stage. I did it with Donald Glover, and he's just the nicest guy. He's really cool. He, I, you know what? I when I first started at Kiss four years ago, he was one of the first artists I met, and um, he did next up just like you are now isn't that crazy four years ago and I remember sitting in in the chair and just being like oh my gosh because I had been a fan of him for a while Mm -hmm. but I'm like Donald Glover Childish Gambino is our next up artist and now you're the next up artist like that's pretty cool and I remember thinking how how uh down to earth and kind he was and really funny like he actually just stayed and talked to us probably for 45 minutes afterwards he just seems like a cool guy to work with. Yeah, he is. He's he's a great guy to work with, and I'd love to work with him again. That's awesome. So on top of movies, TV shows, obviously you're singing and you're doing music. Do you have anything coming out? Like anything? Like are you working yes, on anything? I actually do. I have a few How songs. do you have the time <laughs> is, I guess, the question. Yeah, I have some time. In my spare time, I try to, like, write songs and I get a beat and I, uh, I make a song, basically, and I have one out right now. It's called Inviting All of You. You can find it on iTunes and Spotify. That's amazing. So is that going to be a part of an album that's coming out? Yes, I believe so. That's amazing. I already have a few songs done, but they're not out yet. I guess they're still in production. Yeah. But I, I am working on songs right now. Well, I'm so excited for you. You just seem like the nicest guy Thank you. and I feel like I'm always rooting for good people to win and even though I haven't talked to you very long from what I've seen you seem like a genuinely good kid so I really hope that that just continues for you that's very exciting and also your style's on point I also want to give you credit Thank there you. very I'm loving the color scheme here so Take style notes from this guy. (laughs) Well, thank you for coming on Kiss FM's Next Up. Thank you for having me. JD McCrary. 